Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day and today we are doing a full spirit haul for 2021. Now this is not a haul of one trip. This is like, you know, over a dozen trips. Sometimes I don't get anything, sometimes I find across I come across gems, okay? And since Halloween is my all year decor, you know I had to go a little bit hard on this, you know? Like I save up all year for Halloween decorations. And you know, I spent I spent some money. So today I'm gonna talk about everything I got this year. Hopefully after a couple more trips, because I know the season's coming to an end, I'll find one or two things that I'm still looking for. Without any further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, real quick before we get into the haul, I do want to give a quick shout out to my shop, theopencrypt.com. If you're interested in anything spooky or alternative or horror themed or fall themed in general, today I'm wearing my skeleton hand earrings for my shop and I have tons of goodies inspired by some of these movie things too, so. If you're interested in that, I'll leave a link down below. It's all handmade by me, and I'd really appreciate it. Now, let's go ahead and get started with the haul. Now, a lot of this is Beetlejuice related, but, you know, we have some other things too. So, first things first, because she's sitting in my lap, and she's been in my videos already. <sighs> Tiffany, I didn't think I was going to find Tiff this year. Like, okay, so she was on my list. Her and Chucky, of course, Chucky too, were on my list to find this year because I personally am a huge Tiffany Valentine fan. I just, I love her. Jennifer Tilly is an icon. And I found the Bride of Chucky version of Tiffany because um, I kept stalking stores and there was one opening near me that kept getting delayed, kept getting delayed, kept getting delayed for the opening day. And I was stalking every morning. I'd wake up and stalk Spear Halloween's like store location thing and wait for the opening day. Opening day finally came and I was able to grab her. Now I didn't go on the opening morning so I did miss out on Chucky if they had him at all but there was one Tiffany and I had to have her. Now she was expensive but also go on uh, Spirit Halloween's website before you go in the store and you can usually get a 20% off coupon which I used in several of these trips to be honest. So I have Tiffany and she talks. It's under here. I believe we've already met, haven't we, sweet face? I hope you left room for dessert. She's a hell of a dessert, y'all. Take it from me, honey. Plastic is no substitute for a nice hunk of wood. Also, when you cut her off, her head always goes back to straight, which is great. Um, but I got Tiffany, and she talks. I'm like, I love the voice. I love it. I love it. Love, 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 love. Okay, so this is the first thing I got. Well, not the first thing, but first thing in the video. Okay, so next up after Tiffany, there are three things that I do not have with me. So let's go ahead and go and mention. Um, <laughs> Cortland ended up buying the Sam animatronic from Trick or Treat. He waves his lollipop, and he sings, and he moves, and... Um, he has two head versions, so the pumpkin head as well as the regular, like, uh, burlap sack head cute head. Um, the burlap sack head is still here with us, and we took the pumpkin head. He took it to work with him. He's a teacher, so he put it in his classroom, and it went off by itself the other day without someone stepping on the step pad, and he was like, it's possessed. I was like, bring it home. I need that. So Sam will be back in our house after the Halloween season. He's gonna be in our house all year long. Not gonna leave him plugged in though because I don't need to hear the noise and you know it's adjustable volume but I don't care for the animatronic. I just like the statuesque figurine of it. Also in his classroom we have the pumpkin head door knocker which talks and you know says jokes at the door. It was really expensive. That was like 40 bucks for that thing. I thought it was ridiculous. It doesn't match our aesthetic. So I don't know where it's going to go back in the house after the season is over. Um, and also we have Thing which is like a little walking hand. Which the cats are not a fan of, but they're not also terrified of it either. So they're just kind of like, what is that? They're not a fan. But those are the three things that are not in the house currently to show you. Next up, let's go to this pile of stuff. <laughs> so first thing from the Beetlejuice thing. This was actually from our first spirit ship. We have the Adam little head thing. We do actually have, Cortland has this shirt. Um, the Beetlejuice shirt that Adam wears in the movie. So it just lights up. I don't like that it flickers. Like I wish it would just like do candlelight stuff but it goes in and out which i don't like but you know that's that also bj makes that noise so that's what the noise is in this video sorry about it also this was 15 dollars. they have barbara and the shrunken head and the sandworm as well if i saw the sandworm i'd probably buy the sandworm as well moving on to more beetlejuice things camera there we go I have the Beetlejuice headstone. Now this, our Beetlejuice bathroom is what I have all the Beetlejuice inspired decor for because personally I'm not a big fan of color, but for one bathroom I can handle it. 
So we have the Here Lies Beetle Geist Beetlejuice headstone, which sits on our toilet, but it's super cool. They also have the big one made of an actually pretty nice foam and spirit I haven't picked up, but I keep thinking about it. I just don't know where I'd go. Also, you've seen these if you saw my bathroom decorating video. We have, I'm not going to try to blind you with the reflection, but with the Beetlejuice and Lydia little silhouette things, I mounted them on the wall. They have two different versions of mounting on the wall as well as something to stand up on its own. So you have options with this. You can put it on the little teeth hook, the little flippy hook, which is what I use for it, or you can hang it on, set it on the table, which is nice. And these are really pretty silhouettes. So that was 25 for that set, but again, coupon. And then for a more Beetlejuice thing, we have the Dante's Inferno thing, which I love because it doesn't just say Beetlejuice, black and white stripes, green and purple on it. It's a little bit different. You like have to know the movie to know it if you didn't see him, which is great because I wanted something a little bit different. Like I want something Miss Argentina or the magician's assistant as well, because it wouldn't just say, here's a sandworm, he's, here's Beetlejuice, here's Lydia in the red dress. You know, I wanted something different. I thought this was super cool. This also can be mounted two different ways. There's a hole here and this. I use this. Um, I just sit on my counter currently, but I would use this. Next up for Beetlejuice. This is the biggest thing uh, on the counter. It's the biggest thing on the counter. So we have the snake Beetlejuice thing, which is like the Dante's Inferno. Doesn't just say Beetlejuice on it. So, I mean, other than the face, you know what it is, which I like a lot about it. Now, this does glow from the eyes, an orange color. Not really a fan of the tone of it, but I mean, it's something better than it just being a statue. I personally use it as a statue, but it sits on the counter. You know, there's no way to hang this one, which, you know, of course not, but it's pretty big. I think he was 40 bucks. Pricey little thing. I debated for a really long time about it, but Cortland finally talked me into it. Um, so we have the little worm guy. He's cool. He's cool. Definitely more on the scary end, which I am personally a fan of. Now that is the, oh, I guess it's not all the Beetlejuice stuff. I'll just go ahead and go over all the Beetlejuice stuff. So this was ordered before the season actually started. Um, so this is the Beetlejuice sign I ordered from their website and it does that. Like you can turn it on and off with this button. It looks like a regular one of these. But it blinks. It's the big marquee Beetlejuice sign I've wanted for a long time, um, but never really justified. But I ordered it on the website when they had free shipping and I got 20% off. So I was like happy with it. The only thing is don't order that from the site if you can go in store to get it because the box they shipped it in wasn't big enough for it. So they just stuck the corner out of the box. And I don't know how the box, you know, how the corner didn't broke off during shipping. Don't know. Other Beetlejuice thing, the sign is on our bathroom door. It is the Beetleghost, Beetleghost, Beetleghost bio exorcist sign which i think is super cool because it's not super colorful and i liked it a lot and it was only 20 bucks so i was like here for it and you can mount that two different ways as well and then lastly this is covered in cat hair don't judge me i have the it's showtime beetlejuice uh floor mat doormat for the entrance of the bathroom as well so to set the mood for when you walk in the beetlejuice bathroom which still doesn't look that great but I'm working on it, okay? So it's a lot, a lot of little things, but it doesn't really fill the space as much. I don't know. I'm working on it. Anyways, that's it for Beetlejuice. Hi, a little impromptu cut, and I know it's sloppy editing and stuff, but I made another trip to Spirits since I filmed that video. So I got this Beetlejuice banner that lights up, and I'm going to put it across my bathroom like shower curtain. It says it's showtime on it. I also got this decal. It's a Ouija board. I think I might replace the big Sam I was going to put in my car with this Ouija one. And then I was able, at a different spirit, to find a 2X t-shirt of the official, like, orange and black bleach dye thing of the spirit merch. So these are three other things that I found from spirit that were not included in the original haul, but let's go back to that now. So another thing we got is this mask. It's a little clown mask. I don't know why we needed this. Cortland loved it though, so we got this mask. Also, the masks this year from Spirit have been such better quality than the previous years. Like, it's really like a nice material. Things are really stepping up, and this isn't even a hollow nose. Like, it's it's hollow, but it's like a thick one, so it's not like, gonna break off or anything. It's like really cool, especially because people are gonna mess with your nose if you wear it. Next for t-shirts, I did get this tuck this Chucky and Tiffany shirt, but it's dirty as hell right now, so I couldn't show you. It's in the washing machine. But I got the Chucky, the Chucky and Tiffany shirt. It has been drastically hard to find 2X t-shirts. 
Um, even ordering off Spirit's site, most of the 2X t-shirts are out of stock or on Spencer's site because Spirit is owned by Spencer's. 2X t-shirts are hard to come by. I also got this Easy Bake Coven shirt, which I didn't think about bringing in here until just this moment. So there's a picture of it. I'm sure everyone's seen that. So getting 2X shirts has been really hard. Do I need a 2X shirt? No. The extra large ones that I bought most of these in work fine. Um, but I do prefer a big 2X t-shirt just to wear around the house something big and baggy, you know? Um, the one that I actually did find a 2X, which was a godsend, is the Dreamer shirt. The Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Dreamer shirt. Looks like a tarot card. Love this one. I love how big and baggy and loose it is. It's so comfortable. I just feel like, you know, a lot of people are a little bit on the larger side in the U.S., which is fine. I'm, I'm happier than being like a scrawny little thing. I mean, be whatever body size you are. But I don't, I don't want to have to stress myself about, like, weighing 10 pounds, you know? So I feel like we should just have more stock of things that are a little more comfortable, you know? Even if you're tiny. Some people like to wear big stuff. So, anyways, the other thing that I got in an extra large is the Always Check Your Halloween Candy from Trick or Treat Sam shirt, which I think is so cute. And if that comes in a 2X, I'm just going to Cortland the big baggy one. He's a scrawny little thing, but he'll take the bigger baggier shirt. Like, that's what I'm saying. Just make some bigger shirts, spirit. Because even when I go in there, like, after they get their shipments in, like, their new shipments in, because they get them every week, just can never find a 2X shirt in there. It's just such a, it's just a sad situation. I'm really after the crow shirt. That's the one thing I keep going in the spirit for and wanting. I want cr the creep show shirt or the crow shirt, especially the crow shirt, or the Candyman shirt in a 2X. I'll take any of them. I love them all. I love them all. I, I'm not a big fan of the Friday the 13th or the Halloween, like Halloween franchise ones, but like the Candyman one that looks like, looks like these kind of like vintage inspired ones, or the crow, I just, or the creep show one. Those are things I want to wear all the time, you know? Anyways, lastly, I think, is this last? I think this is the last stuff I have to show you, is a bunch of stickers and decals and stuff. Now, we did get two of those little mystery Beetlejuice boxes, and we got the silver Jason, like the limited edition Jason one, as well as the Annabelle little squishy thing, but they're in the car. Um, so, other things we got. I got two decals for my car that haven't gone on it yet. So, I have a bunch of Edward Scissorhands ones, and one Heisenberg from Breaking Bad things on my car. I'm going to keep the Heisenberg, because you know i got to represent the Breaking Bad. But the Edward Scissor ones, Edward Scissorhands ones, are so faded, they're really hard to see. So, I wanted to replace them with a trick-or-treat um, duo of things. So I got the lollipop and then the Sam with the bag. So something more cartoony, something more realistic. I got these two for my car. They were $3.99 each. And then for his car, um, since he just got a, he we just traded his car in for a different one, he got the Sam as well. He got the Gizmo Gremlin sticker, which is so precious, so cute. And then two Beetlejuice ones. So we had the Beetlejuice, turn on the juice and see what shakes loose. And then the Barbara and Adam ones. So these are the two other decals for his car, and I'm sure we'll get something else. I'm sure we'll get something else. Like, I, I love Spirit so much. Their, their, like, Halloween stuff this year has been so good. I'm mostly excited for the season, when the season's over, that the Sam animatronic is going to be in the house, because I just love it so much, and I think it's precious. But anyways, you guys, that is it for today's video. I feel like it was a lot. It's a lot of little Beetlejuice things, you know? But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't down below. I greatly appreciate it. And have a great spooky season, everybody. <laughs> okay, bye.